In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at overprinting color separations. And overprinting is a type of color separation that's very effective for screen printers, especially when you want to reduce the number of colors in a print by simulating shades or different colors through the overprinting. And overprinting is really nothing more than printing one color on top of the other in the separation. Let's take a look at an overprinting separation. Here I've got a halftone preview from a separation I did with simple seps. And we can look here, here's the black. And if we move that, we can see that the black, and I'll zoom in here, control Z to move that back, that the halftones of the black are being printed directly on top of the brown so that that part of the black is overprinted. It's not separated from the brown to simulate a darker brown. And we can see that here in halftone preview that we've converted to an RGB. The actual monochrome bitmaps don't look that good as halftones, but if we go to the RGB, we can see that this overprint with the black looks or simulates this brown almost exactly. So we're overprinting that. And very often when we're printing, what we'll do is we'll use our Pantone spot colors and we'll use tints or lower color densities or percentages of color. Like if I click here, we can see this is 80% Pantone Red 132C, and that this is actually a 29% hexachrome black C. Now, right now, the overprinting is being simulated in Corel. If we go to View and turn off Simulate Overprints, we can see where we have that brown color that we're using as an overprint. And I'll go back to view and go to simulate overprints. And we can see a simulation of what our overprint will look like. And there's the halftone preview. So by working with tints and overprints, we can bring our colors down, but still maintain the look of the graphic without printing as many colors. For example, if I look at this bulldog football here, and I want to analyze this, so I'll bring up simple steps and I'll create a selection palette. And I can see I've got eight colors and four tints. That's too much. But if I look at the overprinting setup, I can see that I've got four colors and seven tints. So I've cut the color count in half, but yet through the halftone simulation with the overprinting, I'm able to get a very good simulation or representation of the original graphic, but with a reduced number of colors. So let's take a look at how we'd set up the overprinting. And I'll just push forward here on my center mouse wheel and zoom in on the original art. I'm going to go to view and I'll turn off simulate overprints and I'll take this darker brown that's on top of that lighter brown. I'll hit control Z to move that back. Minimize my simple steps and I'll come and I'll fill that with a Pantone hexachrome black C. Now that's filled. And then I'll go down here to the fill color in the lower right hand corner of Corel Draw. I'll just double click on that. That'll bring up my Edit Fill dialog box. And I'll take the tint or the density of the black and bring it down to about 29. And then I'll select OK. Then I'll right click on that object with my right mouse button and I'll select Overprint Fill right here. Now, if I want to see how that looks, I can go to View and then to Simulate Overprints, and I can see that that overprint is very accurate color-wise to the brown that I had previously. And I can also adjust that. If I wanted to make an adjustment, I wanted to make that darker, I could increase the color density or the tint and select OK. And now that's even darker. So you can see how you can work with the overprinting with the simulate overprinting turned on in Corel Draw and simulate colors. Now here for the lighter color, this is a Pantone 7503C, but I want to eliminate that and print that as a halftone of the brown that's in the dog's face. So I'll zoom in here and I'll select that brown, right click, drag that over that object, release, copy, fill here. Then I'll click off and I'll click back on, make sure I've got that selected, which I do. 
control Z to move it back. Then I'll come down here to the fill and I'll double click on that again. Bring up the edit fill dialog box and I'm going to slide this back into the tints. So now it's a highlight and I've reduced another color. Now a lot of this can be done through simple steps, but I just want to cover the concepts of working with overprinting and tints to reduce our colors and give us some understanding. And this is really some fundamental stuff, but it works very effectively for getting your color counts down, especially the overprinting. And I'll select OK with that there. Now here, if I look at this, I've got some color here. And that's a 465C 100%. I'll take the color here. Once again, right click, hold down, and just hover over that. And copy, fill here. Then I'll left click and select that. And that's on both sides of the eyes. Come back here to the fill again. Double click, and we'll bring that down to a tint. Like that. And we can see that there, and that's OK. And I'll select OK. And then we'll go to this darker brown. That's another 168C, 100%. Well, we can change that. We'll go to the hexacomb black C. We'll zoom in. We can right click on that and set that to overprint fill. Come over here to our color, double click. And we'll slide that down. And we'll get a darker brown in there. as you can see right there. Get a darker color with the overprint. So now we've got our colors reduced down, as we can see here and here. And I don't know if I want to maybe make that a little bit darker and bring this tint up. And you can make adjustments. I mean, I can come here and I'll bring this up a little bit more into the brown and let me move this so we can see how that affects what's going on and we can see that it'll update as we do that but i'm going to bring this up more into the brown like right there select ok and now i get a nice dark brown there and i've got a tint of the brown that's in the graphic now that i've set up these tints and over prints i can go select everything now remember we were eight colors i'm going to bring my simple steps back up create selection palette and now we're four colors and eight tints using the overprinting once again. And we can look at that through our simulate overprints. And we can turn that off. And we can turn that off here under view. So that's how we use overprinting and tints to reduce colors. Now, once I've done that, I could go and create my color separations. And we would see here in this brown and I've already got the separations here and I'll just right click and change that to a brown and I'll go here with this brown Then I'll come here and I've got my Pantone hexachrome black C and you can see what's going to happen here I'll copy this go back to my brown paste that in make the background transparent just here with the left click on the X in the color palette you can see we're printing the half tones directly on top of the brown. That's your overprinting. The same thing is happening up here in the eye. And then we have tints here of the actual color creating our highlights or simulating our highlights. And once we take this halftone preview and we convert it to an RGB, it looks much better than the bit bitmaps. And we can see that we get very accurate representation using overprinting and tints of our spot colors or Pantone colors in Corel Draw. So this is just a quick Introduction to overprinting color separations in CorelDRAW. We'll wrap here and we'll see you in our next video.